Hi, I'm Peggy Compton, a Basin Educator with the University of Wisconsin Extension. And I'm Chris Stepanuk, Volunteer Stream Monitoring Coordinator for both the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and the University of Wisconsin Extension. In this segment of the DVD, we're going to give you a brief introduction to the Water Action Volunteers Program and also tell you what, when, and why volunteers monitor streams. The Water Action Volunteers Program is often referred to as WAVE, and it was established in 1990. It is an educational program for Wisconsin citizens, providing opportunities for hands-on learning in streams of the state. WAVE has three parts, storm drain stenciling, river cleanups, and stream monitoring. The stream monitoring program provides uniform parameters to measure and consistent methods for citizens to monitor stream quality across the state. There are five main goals to the program. One, to provide an opportunity for citizens to monitor stream quality. Two, to support data sharing for educational purposes. Three, to provide a communication network for monitors. Four, to support environmental and civic groups in monitoring. And five, to increase linkages between citizens and natural resources professionals. Participants in the volunteer stream monitoring include citizens, conservation organizations, teachers and students, counties and municipalities, and nature centers. Monitors are active in each of the 15 major river basins in the state of Wisconsin, monitoring over 150 streams. The WAVE program is sponsored by the University of Wisconsin Extension and the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. And now Chris is going to tell you more about what volunteers monitor. There are six parameters that are monitored in the WAVE program. Temperature, turbidity, dissolved oxygen, stream flow, habitat, and biotic index. Prior to WAVE's stream monitoring program, there were a variety of methods used by people across the state to do citizen stream monitoring. WAVE's program was designed to provide consistency across the state, to well represent stream health over time, and to be easy to measure. Monitoring is generally conducted between April and October, weather dependent. Temperature, turbidity, dissolved oxygen, and stream flow are monitored each month. It takes about an hour and a half on each visit. Biotic index is monitored twice a year, in spring and in fall, and it takes about 45 minutes each time. And habitat is monitored just once a year, in the summertime, and it takes about a half an hour. Now remember, these are just general guidelines. You can go out more often to try to get a better picture of stream health at your site. Thanks, Chris. Information collected by citizen stream monitors is used for a variety of purposes, including for education. Teachers and students, or citizens in general, can learn about water quality through monitoring also to get baseline data. This means monitoring a stream over time to get information where previously little or none had existed. And also as a bio indicator. Many eyes in the watershed can alert you to changes in water quality. In recent years, participation in the WAVE program has greatly increased, making it difficult to reach all those who are interested in stream monitoring. This DVD series provides information to help you learn stream monitoring methods and to better understand stream ecology. To learn more about the WAVE program, visit this website.